All right. It's uh, been a while since I've done a science video here, and uh, I thought I would try one. This one's a kind of a simple one. I'm going to be taking aluminum, adding it to my jar, and uh, be putting some, uh, per uh, filling it with vinegar and dissolving it. What I want is the uh, dissolved material that comes with this. It's sort of like a powder when it gets done, and I'm using that for a project. So here we go. It's better than rubbing it together until it basically disintegrates on its own. So first things first. Here we go. I'm going to try to smash them down like this real quick, layering them together and making this work. So simple. Take it, crush it, make it into like a pancake, and hopefully they'll all fit in the jar instead of the aluminum balls I have here. So, you can use any brand for uh, the vinegar. I chose the white um, vinegar because it, the uh, distilled white vinegar, because it doesn't have the uh, pigment in it, so whatever I, is all I get is what it's supposed to look like. Um, if you're asking why I have it, that's uh, for cleaning. It gets rid of a bunch of stuff, grease, oil, hair in the drains, or uh, it definitely helps dissolve organic material in your, in your uh, sink and the toilet as well. It gets stuck in the pipes. Takes a little bit longer, but doesn't have the harsh come up. It doesn't have the uh, uh, fumes that the uh, bleach and stuff has, or the Adreno. All right, almost done here. So far, I look like I have room. Okay, I did make sure I clean these beforehand, so I have no other uh, food particles or anything in these. I did use these for cooking, but nothing I cooked with uh, made a lot of mess. It's just when the foil is easier to clean and dispose of than to do on uh, dishes. So, yeah. Some of this is a different aluminum. This one was fat restaurant grade. It's the super thin stuff. But, um... easier in smaller pieces too. I'm not trying to be perfect about this or else I would have smashed it into one big puck. But that's P U -K. Puck, not the F word by the way, so don't mistake in that. Even though people mishear me, so yeah. There you go. Uh, some of this was artwork and stuff I tried to do too that failed that required aluminum for fight skeleton framing and stuff um, I Use a bunch of it Depending on how this goes. I may or may not do more. I keep adding it to it as this uh, breaks down um, over the next coming days to a week or so, like once a day, I'll try to take a video and see how it's progressing. Maybe. Alright. Unfortunately, some of the stuff's going to float because of air pockets, but that's alright. Confirm I got no food residue. I want a uh, pure powder that comes from the uh, aluminum off this one. It's supposed to be aluminum oxide or something of that nature, but we'll see. Um, let me grab some more aluminum. It looks like I can still hold some more.
bunny head. What was this part of? I'll fill this to the top, I'll add the vinegar, and um, I'll start the process. I uh, haven't really posted anything on YouTube recently, I've been too busy, but it's alright. I got more hex bugs. They are, uh, I'm currently trying to test them, I'm trying to undo the battery, or the screw that goes to the head part for the batteries, but... Uh, I may have stripped it, or the person that I bought it from uh, may or may not have have screwed it in too hard. It's usually not supposed to be that much that difficult. Oh, this one. Yeah, this is the real foil. The other stuff's kind of restaurant stuff. And, uh, no, I am not making thermite. So if anyone's going to ask down in the comment section, I need the powder, but it's not for thermite. All right, we'll stub that in, shove that in there. That was from a pie crust. Uh, that looks pretty good. I think we can notice the fact when it gets knocked down. Um, should I cram that as full as possible? Yeah, let me grab something else. Hmm. Alright. Okay, well this is it. <clears throat> yeah, this is the restaurant grade. If you tell, see how thin it is? Alright, this one really crushes so I can easily put that in the corner. There we go. Let's go ahead and add the vinegar. Um, as this stuff breaks down, it's going to uh, reduce the space in here. Normally, it uses the cleaner. You can clean aluminum with this, but if it sits too long, it starts to dissolve it. I just kind of want to go to the rim. I do need to buy a new one when I get done here. As you can see, the bubbles are taking up all the rest of the main space. I don't think that's an excess. I don't think that's a reaction necessarily. That's just the air from all the crushed stuff. But here we go. I'm gonna seal this off. And about once a day, about the same time, I'm gonna measure it. I'll let this go for a bit. When I crushed it, there's still air trapped from all the foil, so I'll let that run out. And when the bubbles stop, I'll go ahead and um, stop the video, and we'll check in on it in the next coming days. If there was an actual reaction, you'd be seeing tiny little bubbles, not these uh, big ones. Over the next couple days, you should see that all of this foil starts breaking down into a powder that starts sediment that starts building towards the bottom going up. Um, I'm not expecting too much, but maybe about that much powder from all this once done. Um, there's not that a lot of foil, it just takes up a lot of space. If I would have done this right, I probably would have crushed it all into a cube and then watched that dissolve, but we got a bunch of bunch of stuff, so you should see it reduce from the top of that jar lying right here. The water, I don't know if it's going to go up or down, or the uh, vinegar, uh, distilled vinegar solution. Um, I think it probably going to drop as well as all this mass starts leaving it's kind of like an ice cube where it takes up more space in a cup and that looks about it yep
Uh, we still have some trickles, but let me go ahead and end this before it gets past too much more time. Um, I'm going to put this in my uh, dark... Um, uh, what the hell they call that? Pantry here. And uh, we'll check on it. Or I'm going to put this in a cupboard in my kitchen. I'm going to check on this in a day or so to see what happens. So, like I said, I'll let it go for a little bit longer. Still see bubbles. As I said, it's just escaping from the foil. And then tomorrow or so, I'll take it out. And we'll see if we have any visible sediment on the bottom. As you can see, this is a clear jar. And we have nothing. So if it looks like, see, we have dirt in the bottom. That's the aluminum dissolving. So, i say we're good. Alright, well, thank you all. And if anyone watches this, leaves a view or anything or a like, thank you so much. And um, I hope you have a great day.